All right, so with my wet and wet technique, what I'm trying to accomplish here is the same thing that we've been working on, working from the back to the front. And so I've got to look at what's here, all right? I also have to think about what type of techniques am I going to use as I develop from the background to the foreground. Obviously, there's layers, right? We've got the cloud area back here, another cloud over here. We've got some medium browns and light browns with the this trunk and the branches. And then of course I have these areas of uh, the pinks with the flowers. So as I develop this, again, I have to think based on the background to the foreground. So if I look at the blue, the sky color up against this cloud, obviously I can see there are areas of it that have a dry technique and then areas of it that have a wet technique. So what I'm going to do is, up against this edge, I'm going to have the areas like through here that have the, the softness of the sky against the cloud. I'm going to use just clean water in the cloud. Here where I have a much crisper edge, I'm going to use the sky into uh, the dry surface to get that clear, sharp edge here. And then of course down here I can see I've got the water edge again. So I'm going to kind of build slowly. I've got another cloud over here. I'm just going to build slowly the interpretation of the watercolor. So I'm just grabbing some clean water and I'm looking at my photo reference where I've got some of the light areas of clear water. And I have the pencil drawing established to kind of give myself an idea as to where the clouds are. So I'm putting the clear water in some of these areas where the cloud is. And I can go right over top of some of the other stuff that's there, the pencil line. I can see that there's a little bit of a transition of, of a cloud across the space. And this one is in here. So as I build up now my blue sky color. Again, I still have a lot of water in there. But as I come along through this area, remember I'm working from the background. So the dark, the browns and, and those kinds of colors, they're going to be able to cover, they're going to be able to cover the blue. So on a damp surface here, as I hit that water, you can see it creates that nice soft edge. dry surface here. I've got a much clearer, softer version of the color. There's some blues up through here and I'm just going to keep kind of putting it in loosely. Again, I can always go back and I can always get darker. I can add that next layer because I've got blues throughout here. So now I have a dry surface here. I have a damp surface here. That gives me that softness to the cloud there. So now on the dry surface, I can come back in and get that much crisper version of the cloud or whatever the edge of the separation is. And don't get so locked into trying to paint around the edges of all of the forms in this case. All right, just let the water just, and let the pigment and the water just kind of Go over top of things and let stuff happen. I can still see my pencil lines in there. So again, I'm just letting the wet surface create the softness of the sky. And it's going to create some different effects. So in this area, I've got some medium pale, pale blues. So I'm just going to take what I have, this kind of blue mixed water, 
and I'm going to kind of put some of that background in here. Just that really, really pale blue, and I can see it's got a little bit of a gray. So I just got a little bit of black. And mixed up that little bit of a blue-gray. All very, very soft, all very, very wet. And it's very textural, so I'm just kind of bouncing the brush. You notice I'm not painting strokes here. I'm just kind of bouncing the brush in that area, kind of recreating that medium blue-gray. All right, now I gotta let a lot of that stuff dry before I start in with any of the other layers. So I'm gonna give this some time to dry, or I'm, I'm gonna help expedite it. I can speed it up a little bit with hitting it with a hair dryer. but right now it's all about building the atmosphere, building the background, and then working my way forward. 